the iPhone 4S um, basically is the best iPhone yet courtesy of the new CPU and improved primary camera plus of course the iOS 5 operating system pre-installed. The new iPhone 4S introduces the new high-end 64GB model but Apple still offers 16GB and 32GB variants and still no SD card slot. Apparently, the iPhone 4S looks exactly like the iPhone 4, starting with a 3.5-inch full-color touchscreen, or Apple calls it Retina Display, with pixel density of 321 ppi. Volume buttons are still placed on the left side of the phone, of course with the mute switch, and the 3.5mm headset jack and the on and off switch are located at the top of the phone. The SIM tray on the right side, and the home button in front alongside the screen. The iPhone 4S is powered by the new A5 chip, the same CPU used by the iPad 2. iPad 2 is Apple's tablet PC release this year. Reports claim the CPU of the iPhone 4S is clocked at 800 MHz, of course, with a dual core inside. Thanks to the new dual core processor, the iPhone 4S offers faster web browsing, application execution, and uh, more responsive user interface. Switching between two applications is possible with no lag whatsoever, and apps like games open faster, they run smoother, and uh, with no lag. Um, I tried Plants vs. Zombies, Seasons. And some social networking sites like Google Plus to test the capabilities of the new CPU. Web browsing is faster thanks to the new Safari application offered by the iOS 5. So, supported iOS 5 devices, including the iPhone 4S, offers the new Reader's feature that will remove the ads and other clutters so readers can read text in the teeny weeny screen of the iPhone 4S and the iPhone 4 without distraction. The iPhone 4S is pre-installed with the new iOS 5, so iCloud is obviously available out of the box. You can adjust the setting of the iCloud by accessing the setting app. And uh, you can order for additional storage directly using the phone. The iPhone 4S arguably offers the best camera in the market right now for smartphones. In fact, it can replace the decent to average point-and-shoot cameras. And with the new iOS 5, users can access the camera app on the lock screen by tapping the home button twice. The iOS 5 also features dedicated camera button support and uh, devices supported by the iOS 5, including the iPhone 4S, can use either the volume up button or the on-screen button to initiate the camera shot and stop or stop a video recording.
Apple is claiming the camera on the iPhone 4S offers 60% more pixels compared to the 5 megapixel camera used by the iPhone 4. Apple also added that the new 8 megapixel camera with 1080p video support has improved backside illumination sensor. That's for brighter and more vivid shots. The only exclusive feature offered by the new Apple smartphone is the voice command application Siri. Siri is the application that uses natural language processing to answer questions, make recommendations, and perform tasks by connecting to Apple servers. Um, Siri can also Google, Yahoo, um, and other search engines. So you can search by using your voice. You can also set reminders. Remind me to buy a milk. When would you like me to remind you? 6 p.m. Here's your reminder for today at 6 p.m. Shall I create it? Yes, please. Okay, I'll remind you. And of course, Siri requires internet connection, so faster internet speed means faster Siri response. This might answer your question. According to Apple, Siri will adapt to the user's individual preferences over time and will personalize the results. So maybe Apple will add additional answers over time. Who created you? Like it says on the box, I was designed by Apple in California. So should you get an iPhone 4S? Well, it depends. Um, here are my few typical situations that you may be able to relate with. If you own an iPhone 3G or 3GS or the oldest iPhone 2G and you love Apple products and your two-year contract is over, you are a perfect customer of the new iPhone 4S. However, if you own an iPhone 4 and if you wonder if you should upgrade, well, unless you have a good reason like you want a better camera or you want to play with Siri, you can upgrade. But if, you, if you're satisfied with your iPhone 4's camera, the 5 megapixel camera that, that can still shoot um, decent quality images and videos, then mm, wait for the iPhone 5 next year. If you own an Android device and you're planning to switch to iPhone, well, I suggest you get the iPhone 4 instead of the iPhone 4S because it's cheaper and they look the same. And just wait for the iPhone 5 next year. If you're a professional who uses the iPhone's camera for work, and you're planning to get the iPhone 4S, well, iPhone 4S camera offers better photos and videos, so you have the reason to upgrade. I will give the iPhone 4S a 7 out of 10 rating. I love you. All you need is love and your iPhone.